on the project name. Press Model. Open the model for expenses. Include date from the tasks table. Rename task description to just task. Change task date to date. Let's sort expenses by task date. Save the model. Press Finish and press Design. Switch to the Controllers tab. Expand Expenses Controller. Expand Views. Double click on Create Form 1. Tag the view. Modal Doc Write. Modal Max TN. Modal Always. Save the view. Create a new business rule. Let's create a SQL business rule that runs on command new during phase execute. This rule will set the quantity to 1. Save the new business rule. Press Browse to see your changes. On the Expenses page, we can see that Task Description was renamed to Task. We now have a Date field. The field is sorted by default. Create a new expense. Notice that the tiny modal form will show on the right side of the screen. The quantity field is 1 by default. To prepare my application for the next release, I will create a staging slot. Click on the project name. Press Publish. Select Azure. Press Publish. Notice that the URL of the new application is different. It contains the word staging. Go ahead and sign in. As you will see, this staging app shows the new way of creating expenses. Everything is working as I expected in the staging environment. Now it's time to swap staging to production. In the app generator, click on the project name and press Publish. Select Azure. Go ahead and press Publish. In the production app, Navigate to the Expenses page. Create a new expense. As you can see, the new functionality has been pushed to all of our customers.